Sky News Australia correspondent Anneliese Nielsen commented ahead of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departure from the UK to the US at the end of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The couple joined up to 40 royal family members at the National Service of Thanksgiving in St. Paul's Cathedral, but sat far across the aisle from Prince Charles, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. As the Sussexes arrived for the service, a section of the crowd booed, before other members of the public drowned them out with cheers. In their Loki return, the Sussexes missed a reception at London's Guildhall as well as the Platinum Party and Trooping the Colour Parade. The Sussexes were not on the Buckingham Palace balcony as Jubilee celebrations kicked off on Thursday, but were photographed through a window at Horse Guards Parade during Trooping the Cup. Ms Nielsen said, speaking to people here, the die-hard royal fans, a lot of them say that they are disappointed in how Harry and Meghan have conducted their step back from royal life, that they don't agree with many of their criticisms of the royal family. But they do say, he is the Queen's grandson and so there should be respect for the monarch and in that instance it does mean her heirs as well. She added that how Harry and Meghan forged their life outside the firm would be a long-running discussion for the Sussexes. Ms Nielsen continued, they sat out a number of the main Jubilee events. They weren't at the concert, that was pretty deliberate, they didnt want to draw attention away from anything. On Saturday, the Sussexes missed a star-studded Jubilee concert staged in front of Buckingham Palace. The Prince of Wales, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were among the royals attending the event. But Harry and Meghan, whose daughter Lilibet celebrated her first birthday, were not among those in the royal box. A spokesperson for the couple said they were spending the day privately. The royal family's Twitter account posted a balloon emoji with the message, wishing Lilibet a very happy first birthday. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall, also posted birthday messages on the social media platform. Meanwhile, Harry appeared pensive as he arrived in California with Meghan after flying back to Santa Barbara on Sunday. An insider told The Sun, there was no fanfare, they just went. They didn't stick around for the Platinum Jubilee pageant which is a celebration of Britain and all of its quirks and eccentricities over the Queen's 70-year reign. Royal author Ingrid Seward claimed the Duke of Sussex finds his position in the royal family difficult. She wrote, becoming a second row royal is difficult for Harry to swallow. When he walked into the cathedral with his stylish wife Meghan by his side, he looked fed up. Royal expert Richard Kay, writing in the Daily Mail, said, Nothing illustrated how the Sussexes' exile in California has upended their old world than the manner, and timing, of their arrival at St. Paul's. As non-working royals, they are now very much in the second division.